Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host here. It is Team Rai Rai. Anywho, how are you doing on this Sunday's edition? I am doing very fine. Anyway, I have social media accounts. And don't worry, I'll discuss that matter after this part of the video is over. Now, sit back, relax, put your feet up, or grab some meat. Or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And, of course, the link will be down below, or the arc will be down below. This one, there will be a link. Let's get into this conversation. Now, I don't know if anyone is aware, but after a SmackDown went off the air, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens reunited, okay? Now, the question is, will they do that kind of chemistry back on TV? Yes or no, okay? Now, if it does happen, do you think they should be future WWE Tag Team Champions? You know, like, when they got both of the belts. If that does happen still, yes or no? Now, right now, Sami Zayn is in this very dumb uh, storyline with a bloodline. I don't like it, but most likely they're going to kick him out, you know? You know? He was never there in the beginning with. He just kissed some major butt ever since uh, he had a few with... Um, the guy who starred in um, Jackass movie at WrestleMania. Then we decided later on, I think he took some time off or whatever. Same as Zayn. Then they decided to be honorary Uso. I think that's kind of dumb. But this is W we talking about, okay? I don't know who came up with that. Was that Triple H? Or was that still Vince? I'm assuming that was... Triple H, but um, Sami Zayn, he has a lot of skills inside the square circle, outside the square circle, but I just don't like his characters the last, what, couple years, I just don't like it, last year was Doggy Doodoo, this one, he's part of the, the bloodline, and hopefully, we decided, or probably Triple H and his staff decided to have, have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn reunited on TV eventually and then eventually they will kick some major butt if they do it correctly, you know? Now Kevin Owens is now the guy who usually kicks butt on Raw. He should have done that before, but we all know why. Because McMahon was in charge and they wanna make Kevin Owens like a laughing stock, you know like you know, I remember one time when he had a stupid feud with Braun Strowman. They would chase around the whole arena. And then Kevin Owens hiding in the porta potty. And then Braun Strowman pushed him over the edge. And then he had all that yucky stuff on his face. I know that's entertainment, but Kevin Owens is there to wrestle. Okay? You know, McMahon does not know how to use these guys correctly. I'm sorry. And I said to myself, why in the hell did Kevin Owens sign a brand new contract with WWE if they're going to treat him like this? Same thing with Sami Zayn. These two guys should just even be, you know, team up and go after the tag team belts. Or even one of these guys should go after the U U.S. belt or Intercon belt. I know Sami Zayn did it not that long ago. Now he's not in the title picture anymore. Or maybe one of these guys should be going after Roman Reign or uh, Drew McIntyre. I don't know if the WWE is going to push them that way. These guys could be great heels if they give them that opportunity once again. You know? So, um, I just don't like how they treat Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn sometimes. Okay? I know that they're, they came from an independent scene. And probably that's why McMahon don't want to push them. Look, it has been five flipping years since uh, Kevin Owens won the main title in the company. That is pretty sad. Pretty sad. And that is McMahon is doing. And hopefully, Triple H does not do the same thing as Vince does. A lot of these guys deserve a long title run, great storylines, and great matches. 
Will it happen? Time will tell. Now, hopefully, maybe it will team up eventually, and then probably Kevin Owens will turn on his friend once again, same as he, and this time, maybe the belt will be online if one of them will be champion. Who knows, you know? And then I just, hopefully, they don't decide to quit like other wrestlers in the past because they don't like the direction of this company's going in the character. So if it happens, so be it. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. All the information, once again, will be down below. You can read the article, and plus you can watch the video down below. Now, a lot of great things happen after Raw is off the air, usually. Sometimes they don't, and sometimes a lot of great stuff happens when, when the cameras go off, and if you were there, you might record it from your phone or whatever, and that video might go viral, or might not might go viral, so... So all that, you know, you ever notice that all that good stuff usually happens off, um, off TV, you know, when off cameras, you ever notice that sometimes? So what's your thoughts on this? And let me know if you attended this event this past th uh, Friday night on SmackDown. Have a go in now. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media accounts will be down below. If you really want to be part of the show, double click, DM me, and that wraps up. Have a good one. I'll see you guys tonight. Stay safe and peace out.